hello guys uh, welcome to my channel in today's session i will show you how to view your high cpu usage in your windows server so let's say that uh, you our system is taking high cpu usage and you want to filter out uh, which process is using that so through powershell uh, we have a command uh, get process and then we can use our uh, pipeline to uh, filter out uh, which uh, process is using the high cpu let's do it open your powershell on your local host and type uh, get process so this will list out all the process so you want to uh, filter out which uh, process is using the high cpu usage so in that scenario what you have to do with uh, just type get process once again and then pipe out by uh, sorting the object sort object and you are going to sort out the um, CPU usage, let's say for an example. So property CPU, and then in which order you are going to uh, sort out. So for an example, let me show you one thing here. CPU, it starts as uh, ascending, right? So 0, 7, it's going in this way. So we, we want to uh, sort out uh, with our correct uh, numeric sequence. So in that scenario, what we can do is we can use a parameter called a constant parameter, which is descending. So let me put that descending and push enter. So now the process is listed uh, with the high CPU usage in the descending sequence. Okay, so as we can see is uh, OBS is taking the much of the CPU. So now I just want to filter out only the top uh, peak usage of just a five process I need. So you want to filter out only the five process which is um, utilizing more of the CPU. So in that scenario, we can use the pipe command again to filter out the same output. So from here, it get the process and then it sort out the CPU usage with the descending value and then I pipe it out by selecting the object select object first two let's say first five so now what will happen is it will just filter out only the five process which is highly utilized so as you understand get process get you all the process and get process sort object uh, property cpu get c um, uh, sequence with the descending order which is the highest cpu usage and then we filter out using the select object only the five which is using the high uh, of the cpu okay so these property how these property are calculated in the sense if you want to know the property of each command let just put pipe it out by get member okay get member and you get all the property of the process so for this particular process if you put get member and you will get all the uh, property of the object so let's say uh, we took a cpu right as a property so now here we will get close handle peak here CPU so we took this particular uh, CPU parameter to filter out the high CPU usage so this is how you can figure out how much is using your high CPU amount by filtering the process name you can figure out uh, why it is using if not it is really required you can just kill it okay all right thanks thanks for watching guys have a wonderful day bye bye